That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should just go to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in in strawberry. What do you know about strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books, then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. boy. Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence. On your mother. Which books? Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore? I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. feeling about this place. Been a long time. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John. I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. <laughs> you Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes. It's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands, it's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy. Lancelot, we're all one. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. 
Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. Work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a... A little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear, what's for dinner? What's for dinner? Away with you, you no-good parasite. You cook. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> John, come out here. Hey, John. Abigail. Sadie. Charles. I found him. I found Micah. No. I got a lead. One of his boys wanted for murdering a woman. Been seen drinking in Strawberry. If we can get to him, he'll lead us to Maka. But I gotta go now. You coming? No, he's not coming. I will. That's your business. His business is here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll ride with you. No, I'm... <laughs> I'm begging you. No! You risk all this? For what? For Micah? All this? Well, this wouldn't exist if it weren't for Arthur, Sadie, and all the folks as fell. If I let him go, this place ain't no more real than... than one of Jack's dragons. I'm begging you. And I'm begging you to understand. This is it. This is... Please. Please try to... I ain't got no other choice. Keep an eye on the place for me. Of course. Please! <laughs> Let's go kill this son of a bitch then. Come on. Let's get the strawberry before he dries out. Which one of Mike's boys is it? Cleet. Which one was Cleet? The big one or the little one? The one with the rat face. My memory is they both had rat faces. The little bastard with the rat face, then. Him? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk. You're damn right he will. We owe this to Arthur. Revenge. That might be something he could have understood. This ain't just revenge. It's about stopping the man. I hear you're taking bounties now. And I hear you're building houses. Mm -hmm. When I'm not killing old friends. Hell. Nowadays, I'm almost always killing old friends. Old friends and new. Ain't that right, John? Seems that way. You interested in bounty hunting, Charles? The last assistant <laughs> was put out to pasture. No, that work ain't for me. I, uh, I think I might get out of here. Go north, Canada, find a woman, start a family if I can. You see how that life. Well, I'd like to try it. Ooh, wait, hey, John. You've given him the family book. I thought we would have inspired him to a life of celibacy and isolation. Hmm. You know, I've been thinking I might get out of here, too. 
down to South America, maybe? It's wild, but less mean, I guess. I'd run protection for a gold mine, or take up with a handsome revolutionary. I don't know. Something. See something else, at least. That all sounds good. Yeah, it all sounds real fine. But we got some business to take care of first. Get your hands off her! <laughs> <laughs> You don't look too fine. Come on! You're bleeding pretty bad. It ain't nothing. You should sit down. I'm fine. You're dying. I'll be fine. Just sit. It's okay. I, I ain't dying. I ain't. I hope not. I ain't dying. Just go get him. I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Uh, okay. Charles, stay with her. Charles, you worry about yourself. I'll be up there who it is. in a minute. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? But I got something to take care of, sure. Hello, Scarface. Did you miss me? Not much. Been a few years. <laughs> How's that, uh... Mm whore of yours. She's good. <laughs> Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. Ah. But I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hmm? And the boy. Whatever you say. A man <laughs> hell fire it's just like old times <laughs> come on you turn around and start walking you got me just like old times hmm all manner of folk paying social calls. Hello, son. Mrs. Adler. It's been quite a while. Now, John. Now, what were you saying? What are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you, I suppose. Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money, we got dreams. Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. Now, I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. You shot at me, son. You started. You betrayed me. I could say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You, you just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Let her go. She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch? 
Killing me won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, Marston. Say something, Dutch. Say something. I ain't got too much to say no more. He shot me. <laughs> you shot me pretty good. Thank you. You okay? Fine. You're crazy. Well, I hope so. Help me up. Ugh. Let's go get Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. It's black water. I'll go see. Hurry up. I got a wedding I want to go to. It's over, Abigail. It's all over. <laughs> I'm going to where the sun burns in. 